Hey guys, it's Talia and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing this very, very highly requested video which is my hair care routine, how I keep my hair this colour, how I got my hair this colour and how I style it. Um, I'm going to try and keep it as short as possible because this video could end up being like 50 million years long and obviously no one has that amount of time so I'm gonna try and like skip through it and kind of give you everything that is necessary. First thing to say I am not a hairstylist, not a colorist, nothing. I'm not trained in hairdressing. I don't know what I'm talking about. Take it with like a pinch of salt. It's not necessarily correct. I don't know what is correct. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just giving you my experience with my hair so without further ado. Um, first things first, I did go to the salon to get this colour. My hair was a pale pink. I'll put a picture somewhere on the screen so you can see what my hair colour was. Um, we did it from one sitting to go from the pink to this colour and um, at the time I did have regrowth sort of this sort of length so I did also go from this colour to this colour in one sitting. Something I will say, my hair has been through the absolute wars. My hair has been pretty much every single colour in the books so um, I know the strength of my hair and so does my colorist. My hair is very, very strong. So that's something to bear in mind if you want to go this color. Definitely get a strand test done. I really would not risk doing it at home. Go to someone who knows what they're doing. I go to Aveda in London. My colorist is called Yasmin. She's amazing. I'll put her Instagram in the uh, description box below if you want to book in with her, then you can. How I get my hair color at home, however, this is the best thing and it's called Touch of Silver and it's by the brand Provoke. It is the best purple shampoo there is on this planet. It's very inexpensive and it's incredible. This is the more intense one, they do two. Um, and I use this once or twice a week. I only wash my hair once or twice a week because washing your hair more is not good for it. It strips it of its natural oils. Still shower obviously, but you know, just shower cap, keep your hair out of the water. Um, I mean, you can see how dark it is. Like I just put my finger on it and it's already stained. It will leave a slight tint in your hair if you leave it on too long, so try and just wash your hair, wash it out, and you should be good to go. It's been months since I've had my hair bleached, and I've not had a toner since. This is the thing that keeps my hair this colour. But I'm about to change my hair colour, so I haven't used this in... I didn't use it today when I washed it, so... Maybe there's bits of yellow coming through, I don't know. Please ignore it if there are. So I'm gonna skip now to the part where I do, like, my hair styling. This is... yeah. Let's go. So, um, my hair is washed, freshly washed, but I washed it about, I don't know, three, four hours ago, and I've just let it, I've had it in a towel for a few hours, and I've just let it down, and it's pretty much dry, but it's still a little bit damp. Um, I haven't brushed it, I haven't put any product in it, and the reason I haven't brushed it yet is because your hair is most brittle when it is wet. So, brushing it is probably not the best idea. I mean, if you've got really long hair and it's super tangly, you might want to just run a comb through it. But um, avoid metal bristles and stuff like that because it basically just rips the crap out of your hair and that is not what you want if you don't want your hair to break in every single place possible. Um, I am using a metal bristle brush today, even though I said don't, because I need to go out soon and this is the only one I can find. Everyone seems to have taken all my normal brushes, so wish me luck. Hopefully my hair won't fall out. But um. Yeah, I'm just going to take a blow dryer to it. This is how I would normally style my hair. Um, most of my photos, I've just blow dried my hair and that's it. Always, always use heat protection spray. I cannot stress this enough. The ones that I really like, I always buy travel size because I travel a fair amount, um, is the Tresemme Heat Defense and the Tony & Guy. This one isn't, um, isn't travel, but it's Tony & Guy Prep Heat Protection Mist. I'm going to use this one today and basically just spritz that all through my hair. dry this is sort of how my hair dries naturally um yeah there's barely barely any wave to it it's pretty much straight but um i always blow dry my hair upside down and that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna rough dry it i don't use a comb flip it up part it where i part it Ooh. <laughs> oh part it where i normally part it stick this behind a bit behind my ear and that's literally how I style my hair on an everyday basis. It kind of falls where I want it to. It's not that difficult. But um, I'm gonna go on to my curling process now. Why did my voice do that? So before I style it, I always use dry shampoo. My, oh. Um, so this dry shampoo is not for me to stop my hair being oily because obviously I have just washed my hair. It is purely for styling purposes because it gives a bit of grip to the hair. Um, creates a bit of volume. This is just the Batiste. 
This is the Diva Professional Styling, or whatever, curling wand, 32 mil. Um, I love this thing. 170 degrees Celsius. You can adjust the temperature. I'd always say probably go as low as possible, even though I haven't today. Um, to prolong your hair's life, I suppose, because obviously you don't want to be frying it every day. This is why I don't curl my hair on an everyday basis, because it is frying it, like it really is. So I'm just taking a front piece, about an inch section, clamping it and curling it. And I'm leaving the last little bit out because I don't want it to be a full formed curl. I want the last end bit to be straight. Um, some people don't like that. I do. It creates more of a PC look and it stops it from looking like I have super like ringletty hair, which I don't want. Sometimes I do, but not today. I want more of a PC look. I don't think you ever see me with like wavy or curly hair on YouTube because I tend to just wear it. Um, straight um if your hair is super short at the back like me like i have a um a graduated bob but it's grown out a lot my hair used to be like up to my jaw then you can use a slightly smaller barrel at the back to create more of a curl at the back rather than a small wave but i'm not too bothered i like it to be messy you can also do this with straighteners so if you have that talent fabulous if you don't use tongs <laughs> i'm now just gonna start taking top layers of my hair and waving them and I do tend to tuck this side behind my ear anyway I'm not too bothered about it getting in my way because I tend to do that anyway and also people have mentioned in the comments before like oh my god your regrowth is so long I know Leave a comment below if you can guess what colour I'm going to go. I think I know. I mean, I could always change my mind, but um, I spoke to my colourist a few days ago. We've got some ideas, so comment below, see if you can guess. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Aussie Miracle Beach Wave Spray. This is like one of my favourite things ever invented. I love it. I wear it when my hair's straight. I use it when my hair's curly. I use it when I'd use it if I was bald. Like, honestly, I would spray it on my bald head. It's just a texturizing spray. I'm just gonna lift up my hair. I'm just gonna get this piece here because even though it's hidden, it's annoying. And that is pretty much it. That is how I get my hair to this kind of wavy, messy thing that I do in my photos. And I don't think I've actually worn this in a video yet, but um, I told you it's super easy. It looks like you didn't put any effort in and it's great because truthfully, there is not much effort that does go into this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then you can hit that subscribe button down below and become a member of this little family thing we have going on. It'd be lovely if you joined us. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it to let me know. If you like these hair videos, I don't know. I'm not, like I said, I'm not a hairstylist, not a hairdresser. I don't really know what I'm doing with my hair, but I will see you guys at the same time next week. And I hope you have a great week. Bye, guys. Well, this piece just hates me. Do as I say. Why is this bit not curling?